Good evening, everybody. This is Mr. Simulator. Um, I'm going to start doing videos talking about my platform, um, answering questions that I get. I get a lot of feedback, a lot of positive feedback, and I thank you for that. Um, in regards to the platform, uh, asking questions about it, what materials I used, uh, what kind of motors I used, uh, and everything like that. Um, a lot of good questions, and um, I've got a lot of videos that those questions are kind of spread across based on, uh, I guess, which, uh, whichever video people watched. So I want to start to make um, these videos uh, in detail about the build and uh, focus on the questions that, that people ask and, and maybe kind of give a little bit more insight. Um, and, and once again, just, just talk about specifically the topics that, that you guys want to want to hear about. Um, so, uh, this is just the first, hopefully it's the first of many, uh, I've had a lot of subscribers and I appreciate that and, and please, I, I ask you to keep subscribe below and let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know what you want to, what you want to hear. Um, um, you know, I'm going to be uploading a video right after this following this, these comments, um, about, um, um, I'm driving a McLaren P1, uh, Project Cars, Road America. Uh, it's a great program, works great with the simulator. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. I've been using that more so than any of the other programs that also work well with it. But I do want to talk about um, the different programs that I use simultaneously to make it work, to make it all feel good. Because obviously you've got motion, you've got sound, uh, you get all the gauges, the visuals are there. Uh, makes for an incredible experience. So I encourage anyone who wants to go ahead and build one, uh, go ahead and do it, ask questions. Hopefully I can provide you with the answers that you're looking for um, and put you in connection with some of the people who I um, was able to get a lot of information from. I mean, I built this over three years ago. I can't believe it's been three years since I've had this, the platform. And um, it's just incredible how reliable it's been. So um, anyone out there looking to do it, get involved and, and start the build. So looking forward to uh, your questions. Um, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what you want to see. And I'll talk to you soon. Until then, thanks. One of the things I want you to notice um, on the platform is you could see the speakers I have up on top. That is a Logitech 5.1 surround sound, and that kind of fills up everything up on top when you're sitting in that chair. You don't really hear anything but that. I do get a lot of questions about the squeal, and I've tried many, many ways to try to stop that. It's one thing that's inherent at least in my build um, the, the centering sensors are what do that the motors you do not hear it when you're sitting in the platform I can tell you that it's actually much sounds much worse uh, in the videos that I take I'm not sure if it's just a frequency but it's not as loud as it it seems so um, but on top of that 5.1 surround sound I also have transducers uh, one sitting under the seat one sitting under the pedals, one sitting on the shifter itself, and then in each corner of the platform to simulate each tire. So um, when the when you're driving over a bump or uh, a, a, a certain corner of the car does something, those transducers will vibrate. So the the whole experience between the sound, the motion, and the feeling of everything. It's really, really what makes um, that whole the whole experience incredible. So, in my next video, I'm going to talk about what programs I'm using to make them all work because there are several to make them work and make them work in unison so they, they, it works correctly. And like I said, I've been using them for a while; they work great. So, um, any questions when you're watching this, please, like I said, let me know. Um, I'll talk about as much detail 
about the platform or anything that you see there on, on how I did it and even some things I'm thinking about changing going forward as technology changes since I built this in 2014 uh, 4k has now come out it's more accessible in the screens uh, virtual reality the, um, the headsets so I'm thinking all different different things but um, I hope you like enjoy and subscribe